A memorial dedicated to Gabby Petito continues to grow in Northport, Florida. Notes, flowers, other items have been left to honor the 22 year old. Meanwhile, the prime suspect in her death, her fiance, Brian Laundrie, still missing and the search for him is intensifying. Ellen McNamara joins us now in the studio with the latest on this case. Ellen. Christina, a trail camera recently recorded a man walking at night who looked like Laundrie turned out it was not him. So law enforcement is continuing to hunt down every lead, trying to figure out where he may be. And their main focus is a swampy area south of Tampa. The FBI and local police are focusing the search on a massive 25,000 acre wildlife reserve near Laundry's Florida home south of Tampa. Police are using drones and helicopters in areas that they cannot reach on foot. And today they've started using an underwater recovery team. A retired FBI profiler telling Fox News finding laundry is the main focus of the police. In the eyes of law enforcement right now, um, you can call him person of interest or a suspect. They're looking at him as a possible suspect and, and, and really likely it's a strong suspect. The FBI putting out a press release saying, quote, the FBI and our partners remain dedicated to ensuring anyone responsible for or complicit in Miss Petito's death is held accountable for their actions. The Teton County coroner tells Fox News that Gabby Petito's remains are still in his possession as forensic testing remains ongoing. Forensic pathologist Dr. Michael Baden telling Fox News what investigators will be looking at with the evidence collected so far. Since they lived together and they were so much time mm. together, having hairs or DNA from the boyfriend on her clothing, which could be found, uh, wouldn't tell you who'd done it. As for Gabby, her exact cause of death has not been released. The coroner says that test results from her autopsy could be coming back in the next couple of days or weeks, and we'll, of course, keep you updated. Reporting live, Ellen McNamara, Fox 10 News.